Hey guys, what's up? This is Fatal Cubes here, and in the last video we created this simple guessing game, but I wanted to make it more complicated. In this video, I wanted to make it more like a game, so let's get right in on how to do that. Okay, let me just get my notes ready. Okay, so we're going to have to add in more variables to make it more complicated. We're going to have to have a uh, Two more variables, or a few more than two more variables, but we gotta create int round equals one, and the total points. So we're gonna keep track of points and rounds. So if the user guesses it right, they move on to the next round, and the amount, and the uh, in the next round they get a few guesses, uh, some guesses added on, and um, they get a certain number of points for that round, depending on how many guesses left they had in the previous round. You'll see how that works in a moment. And we need another boolean because we're gonna have another loop. So just name this playing. That'll be fine. Name it true. And um, yeah. So welcome to the guessing game. Right over here, you're gonna create an empty print statement, and right under that, you're gonna create another while loop. Okay. And this is while playing. Make an opening curly brace there. Go all the way down to the bottom. And make a closing curly brace right above scanner.close. Now you're going to notice that all the formatting is messed up. All the indentation is wrong. Hit control A and control I. That's going to fix all your indentations. It's going to indent everything in this while loop. Okay. So what's going to happen is this while loop is going to get hit. Welcome to the guessing game. And we're going to add in a print statement for what round they're on. So let's just go ahead and create that. Uh, copy that round. So we're going to do round space plus the round plus, uh, and then go ahead and paste that on the other side. You'll see how that looks in a moment when we print it out. It's going to say how many guesses you have and what the number is. And we're going to change this into instead of next into 100, we're going to put max num in here. That's what we should have actually put in the first video uh, because this could change. Let's say we wanted it uh, from 0 to 200, we could have changed this to 200. So now it, things are going to get a bit more complicated. While guessing, okay, so everything's going to stay the same until they got it, until they win the game. There's a few things we need to do. First of all, we actually need to subtract one from the guesses left because we're, we, this is how we figure out how many points that there's going to be. So subtract one from guesses left because they, that did count as a guess when they got that. And right after the print statement, we're going to write this right here. We're going to say total points plus equals 50 times guesses left. So if they ended the round with three guesses left, then the total points is going to equal itself plus 50 times 3, or 150. So in the beginning, it's going to be 0 plus 150 if they beat the next round. With three guesses left again, it's going to be 150 plus 150, 300. So that's going to add up over time. We're going to print out their total points. Plus the total points there. We're going to create another line just for formatting purposes. And we're going to add 1 to the round. Again, plus plus is the opposite of minus minus. It increases by 1, increments by 1. The max number is going to plus equals 50. And the amount of guesses left is going to plus equals 6. So what does this do? Every round, the maximum number is going to plus equals 50. You guys can change this. You can do plus 100. You can multiply it by 2. You can do whatever you want for this. I'm just going to add up by 50. And the amount of guesses left is going to plus equals 6. You could decrease this. Um, you, you might have to balance your own game. If you realize it's too easy and you're never running out of guesses, then change that. Change that down to 3 guesses uh, added on or 5 or 4, whatever you want. Um, but like I said, I'm going to keep it at 6. And guessing, we, we're not going to take that out. All we're going to do is break. Because remember... The guessing, this loop, you still want it to be able to true so that by the next round, you hit this and it says, well, it's true, so let's start guessing again. Okay. Now, if guesses left equals zero, we're going to just create a line 
uh, space. So if they lose, it's going to create a space here. It's going to say, whoops, you ran out of guesses. And we're going to print out how many points they had. Because, you know, maybe at the end of the game, they want to see how many points they ended up with. So we'll do that. And not only is guessing going to be equal to false, but we also want playing equal to false because they lost the game. They no longer should be playing. And that's it. That's all we needed to add in. But you'll see what this does. So what's going to happen? Let's run this through. Creates a scanner and a random. Add in some variables. The guess is left starts out as 8. Random number is going to start as initialized down here as the max number plus 1. The guess uh, is initialized here when the user enters in their guess. Max num starts out as 100, but plus equals 50 each time through, every time they win. The round equals 1, and that increments by 1 each time they win. Total points is 0. Guessing and playing are both true. Every time uh, when the program first uh, runs, it's going to hit this while loop while playing. It's going to print out the round, how many guesses they have, what's the max number, and it's going to create that random number. And then it's going to start going through and guessing. And it's going to go through, and each time you guess, it's going to say, are you too low or too high? If you run out of guesses, then break out and the program down here. Otherwise, just go through, print out how many guesses left they have. If they win, do some things like add to their points, add to the round, add the max number, add the guesses, and then break, which is going to put us outside this loop. And we're going to hit this, and it's going to go to the next round. So let's go ahead and test this out. Because now that we've made a game, it's time to play it. Welcome to the guessing game. We have eight guesses. It's round one. And we're going to do the same strategy as last time. That guess is too high. Guess lower. Okay, let's go to 25. Guess is too high. Guess lower. 12. That guess is too high. Okay, this is a really low number. We're going to do 6. Too high. Guess lower. 3. Nice job. Okay, so the amount of guesses left I had. So I had 4 guesses left, and I guessed once more. So I actually had 3 guesses left, so my total points is going to be 3 times 50, 150. We are on to the next round. So you start out with this many guesses. So I have now have nine guesses. And I'm guessing from 0 to 150. 75, that's too high. Guess lower. 37, that's too high. Guess lower. 20. 10. Uh, we'll do 15. Too low, guess higher. 17. Nice job. Now I'm going here. 100, too high. 50, too low, 75, too high, I guess lower, 62, too low, 68, 65, 63, got it, nice job, 400 points because I had two guesses left, that added on 100, now it's 0 to 250 and I can keep going on but I'm going to go ahead and lose. You can continue to balance the game. And it says, whoops, looks like you ran out of guesses. Total points is 400. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this two-part series of making this game. This is the first game ever made in Java. Hopefully, it's not the last. And um, there won't be any challenges for this video. Except uh, you guys can try to add on whatever you want. If you have any questions on uh, how you do something, you can always uh, ask me in the comment section, and I'll reply as soon as I can. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.